Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Mark. Check this out. This is a rare, rare truck. Check this out. You ready? 1973 Toyota Hilux. Helix. Hilux. However you guys correctly pronunciate it. I know there's people that want to say Helix and Hilux. Whatever it is between 2017 and 1973, this is a rare truck to find in this condition. Super, super, super good condition. I mean, it look, well, it may look rusty to you, but it's just surface rust. This was a barn find truck. Okay, the body's as straight as an arrow. Look at that body. Straight as an arrow. <clears throat> no dents. You can't really tell if it scratches because it's, you know, but I doubt it. A few will scratch a little there, but truck's in super good shape for what it is. With paint, this truck would be, be flawless. I mean, it's a nice truck inside and out. I'm going to say something that's going to boggle people's minds, but any body man or any guy who's a car collector or truck collector will know exactly what I'm talking about. This is not a rusty truck. The frame, it's, there's no flaky rust on the frame. There's no like pitting rust on the body. It's just surface rust from sitting out between those years. The roof's got the worst part of it from, God, you think that many years from 1973 to 2017, that much with the elements and the sun and all that crap. It's insane that this truck's in this good shape. So I'm gonna open the door for you, ready? Close is nice and easy. The gaps are all nice. Look at the gaps. Perfect gaps in this truck. Usually in cab corners, that's when you'll find the most rust. I'm gonna get underneath the truck for you guys. So look at that. Solid, tough, tough, tough. There's the frame. Look at that. Look at the frame. I mean, this is most just you can probably clean that up really. Watch this. Good Lord, look at that! That's something new I just found out! I could probably get that frame looking brand new. That's for me just doing that. Let's try another spot, ready? Right here, clean. Unbelievable. This truck is preserved. This is the bat, the, bot, the underside of it, okay? I mean, it's just a great, great truck. Original baby blue or sky blue paint. And the bed's in good shape. Well, like I said, I'm gonna open the door for you guys, show you all about it, start it up, drive it. The seats are not the great seats are not in the greatest shape. It's got a little rip there, it's got a tear here. But an upholstery shop for you know trying to find that or do that wouldn't be much. Um, a little bit of tape right here from the previous guy who had it. The seat buckles are all the original Toyota, Toyota. It's a four-speed manual transmission with reverse and it shifts perfectly. The gas gauge works when it wants to sometimes, it'll come up. And check this out, ready? Oh. Horn works good. Lights, hazard, paneling is still awesome, awesome shape. And it's back then, you know, they painted the truck, the inside of the doors and everything. That's what I love about these old school trucks. They're really unique. It's got super, super character. No rust, just like I said, it's a lot of surface rust. You guys are gonna be looking at this truck, but the metal back then and everything else, they put more time and quality into the vehicles they built, and you can tell. This is the original striping from 1973. The truck's in awesome shape. Got a little cobweb action going there. The top of the roof corners are good. The body lines are awesome. You can't hurt this truck. And the production date, here's where it's stamped, and it has a uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 digit VIN number back then. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. It's got a 10 digit VIN number back then. It was manufacturing date was September 1973. Toyota Motor Company. Awesome, awesome truck. The latches are perfect, the latch is nice and easy. I'll hop inside so you guys can check it out. I'm gonna go with the door jams. I just wanna be very particular about how, you know, how good a shape this truck is. It's not, 
you'll see a lot of looks are deceiving but for somebody who wants to restore something like this or keep it the way it is or just drive it i've been driving it for the past two days and i love it it's got all this good stuff right here all the good old characteristics of the olden days that's a heavy duty heat or ac thing or that's how you get your heat back then this is an aftermarket radio i'm assuming because back then 1973 they didn't have cassette players they had eight tracks and this is not an eight track that's a cassette player and you can see what toyota's covered up a little bit here's the glove box nice and sturdy super sturdy for back then there's all the information on that plate in the original owner's manual check that out a owner's manual hilux awesome 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 glove box is in good shape cab light still works look at that headliners in awesome shape baby blue gorgeous gorgeous truck no holes inside the body you will not find any rust or rot spots inside this truck even the mats look at that it's got some aftermarket speakers because i don't think uh that's factory but just look at the quality of this truck the windows go down fine a little squeaky but you can see the windows are in great shape somebody's actually spying on us right there checking us out we bring a lot of trucks up here and try to give you guys the best videos as far as checking something most so you could trust us and see it in person i'm gonna pop the hood nice and easy it just opens so smooth i'm gonna shut it ready one finger Nice and easy. It's beautiful. Pull up, pop the hood. There it is under here. Inline four cylinder engine. All the stamps are all original. It's got a different battery, obviously, but the core support's good. You get the stamp from the factory right there 217044. All the latches are lined up properly. I don't think this truck has ever been in an accident. Every single corner and nook and cranny is just. It's, it's awesome. Good, good shape. It's an amazing shape for what this truck is. Absolutely, absolutely beautiful. And I'll even, I'll even go down inside there. Where's the frame? Right there, going straight to the front. Everything's in working order. The carburetor is fine. It starts up. Is the 18RC stamp with the uh, all the emissions and stuff and a valve intake exhaust point gap you guys will see that in the pictures as well there's another uh, model engine model code right there so here's under the hood there's another sticker all original this is like I like I'm saying like I'm telling you guys this is a, a barn find truck now the world revolves around nothing but opinion and structure based on whose opinion is a barn find, I know there's probably going to be so much debate out there on, oh, that's not a barn find. A barn find is flawless condition, perfect paint, and the paint's going to be shiny as it came off the factory floor. Not true. So, everybody is welcome to their own opinion. I'm telling you that this is my definition of a barn find right here. And I'm pretty sure 99% of you probably agree. Or let's just say 90 for the benefit of the doubt look up under the bed right here the old school hooks solid 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 you got three of them on each side the gas cap original There's the other side right here tires are in good shape all four tires have about 85% tread on them there's the other side of the frame the passenger side okay no holes, no rust. I believe this truck was undercoated or sprayed at one point. You can see where it's peeling off a little bit, but that would probably help preserve it. So here's the frame. Another shot from the frame, another shot from the cab in the cab corner right there. No rust. You'll see it. No rust, no bubbling. Body lines are good. Passenger door opens awesome. Watch this, ready? There's the passenger door underneath of it right here. All that is beautiful. The, even the weather stripping is still good. Absolutely good. I'll go ahead and shut it, show you guys. One finger. 
perfectly. And I got an actual, I actually have a full size spare for this truck. It's a full size spare right there and a set of hubcaps. So, you guys have any questions, call me anytime, 540-848-2974. Call or text me. This is the 1973 Toyota Hilux. Helix, whatever you want to call it. Lights work, horn works, truck starts up and drives fine. And there you have it. Beautiful truck. This is the inside again. Steering wheel is a little, could use a little bit of love. That's probably the only one of the parts that didn't really make it through the 1973 to 2017 years but horn works good door panels are good everything is on amazing shape so start it up show you guys how it runs so there's the e-brake right there there's the little tag right here stock number z c 146 t is in tango i named it nicknamed it rust <laughs> Because the color, rusty blue. There it is. So I'll take you guys for a little spin, show you how it drives. Ready? Put the little e brake in, push it forward. First gear. wall in front of me come to a stop so you guys can see the speedometers calibrated and working good we have 47,146.9 miles this is a brick wall in front of us we're gonna turn left and get out of here pictures at and whatnot. Go back up here. Whoa, there's a curb. Hard to drive a four-speed and switch gears and hold the phone at the same time. And I'll do reverse for you guys too. So, so there it is. 47, 147.2. Reverse all the way over. Put it down. Reversing. That's it. We're going to go ahead and end this video. It's getting to 15 minutes right now, so brakes work good. Pull the e brake. E brake works good. You can see we're not moving. We're idle. I'll leave it running. Go ahead and show you guys. Here's the cigarette lighter. Here's the ashtray. Uh, hazards. lights and there she is there you go guys 1973 Toyota Helix Hilux 
I've heard people pronounce it 